do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have something a little different, you know what I'm saying? This shorty, this 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 mom, it's not a little shorty, this mama clapped her son's best friend. Now, we've all heard these stories. For a lot of people, this is like what they fantasize about. They, they These dudes be loving their friends' mamas. They be trying to clap the little milfs, you know what I'm saying? They be trying to, you know what I'm saying? They be trying to step daddy, you know what I'm saying? They, they try to step into the role of the father of their best friend because the mama sometimes be looking good, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of fantasies for a lot of people, but this time, the mama actually went through with it. So today, we finna be watching this, you know what I'm saying? I don't know exactly what the heck go going on in this video, but I just know it's finna be freaking juicy. So smash the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever we drop these bangers. You know what I'm saying? Jura.com, you can buy two and third free one up, say $50. Without further ado, we better hop right into this. I'm not gonna pause it a single time. Y'all know me, I'm not a pauser. I'm not, I go through it. All at once, you know what I'm saying? If I do pause it, it ain't pause it buffered. I don't know what the heck to tell you. My Wi-Fi be bad. Give me a hundred million dollars so I can get better Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? But we go watch it all the way through. If I got something to say, then we go watch it back. But let's get right into this. Don't you hate when you tell somebody something and they remind you of what you said and you be a woman of your word and you got to keep your word? So I was this little boy that used to go to school with my kids, little Romeo, and I just watched him. He was polite and nice, always just there, take out the trash, give me a little hug. I remember watching him at prom, and I said, you are so cute. You know what? When you get 25. See, that's that's the problem. You know, It's not pause, it's buffered. But that's the problem. You can't, you can't compliment little kids that you know like you. And she's talking about little kids. How old was this little boy? I don't know how old the little boy was, but she's talking about you so cute. Like, what? You're a pedophile. You're a pervert. If a dude said this, he's going to jail. Her? She's getting glorified. He's going to go viral on social media. Oh, my God. You you slept with your with your son's best friend now. But if a, if a father slept with his daughter's best friend, it's a problem. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that is right either way. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? But we're not going to pause it no more. You know what? When you get 25, if I'm still alive, <laughs> you come see me. Why that boy knock on my door the other day? And he was like, Miss A. Marie, you remember me? I said, yeah. He said, I'll be 25 tomorrow, tomorrow my birthday. You remember what you said? I said, you remember that? He said, yes, I remember it. I thought about it every day. I said, is that right? I said, you know what? I am a woman of my word. I can't say something and not hold up to it. But uh, bring your birth certificate and stop by tomorrow on your birthday. And I got some birthday cake for you, okay? I'm a woman of my word. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> wait, there's a, there's a bunch of red flags here. Red flag, red flag. You know what I'm saying? Listen. So first of all, the dude said that he rem he thought about this every day. I don't know how old the, the, the dude was um, when she told him this. But the fact that he thought about it, it could have been a year. It could, he could have been 24. I'm down he was 24. He was, she said in high school, so he was probably like 16. The man thought about this for nine years straight to come the day before his birthday to pick up, to, 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 to claim what the mama had told him. He must have really been falling for the girl, for the woman, the lady, whatever it is. I wonder if her, her son's still friends with him. Probably not after what he finna do to her tomorrow, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So update on a birthday boy. Yes, he made it. I made him a birthday cake. So he came in and he was like, hi, how you doing? I said, I'm okay. He said, I wanted to come over. It's my birthday. And I also want to sit down and talk to you about a couple things. I said, okay. He said, remember when I used to come to your house and spend a night with the boys and you and your husband to go get in the bed and y'all hear a lot of loud noise in the house. And I said, yeah, we get up with the guns. He said, yeah. He said, that was me. I said, why would you do that? He said, because I was jealous because you was in there in the bed with him. You told me in 10 years. What I don't understand is why you couldn't wait 10 years. I said, baby, 10 days, two months, maybe, but 10 years is a long time. And he said, I just want to come show you something. So he said, look at this. I said, ooh, all that for me? He said, no, you're going to wait 10 years for it. I said, baby, in 10 years, I probably don't even remember you if I'm still here, dementia and all that. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait, hold on. Okay, so wait, rewind. 
Rita F. Wine, hold on. So, she really made him a cake. So I thought I thought the cake was her booty. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know girls be calling the, the booty is the cake. Well, dudes and girls be calling booty cake. You know what I'm saying? It's cake time. So I thought she was giving the cake, but she made him a cake. And then she was trying to get the cake because the dude was like, "Yeah, you was waiting all this time. You, you made me wait ten years." So he he pulls his pants down, dangling, going all over the place. She like, oh, all of this for me? I ain't had no young PP in a little minute. Oh my God, my life is great. And he's like, no, you gotta wait 10 years. What the fuck was the point of you waiting 10 years to tell her to wait 10 years, you stupid idiot? <sighs> the freak. You might as well give it to me now. He's a little honorary airy, so he didn't do shit. Fuck. What the f That's the end? We gotta rock. We gotta. We, we gonna run it back. Hold on, because, listen, there's, there's a couple questions I have. Because why the f how did it turn from him feeling for her? And I need to see in the beginning. Did she say she's going to give him some cake or make him a cake? Because I, 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 thought, I thought she was going to give him some cake. You know what I'm saying? But instead of making it, I don't know what that. But how did it go from him feeling the clap to her feeling for the clappers? Like, how did that, how did that family dynamic change? And how did, how did he think about that for nine years just to curve her? You got to really have some hatred in your heart. To want to do something for nine years, then when the time comes, you so petty that you want to wait another nine, ten freaking years. Let me see, because I didn't know. Did she say she go give him the cake or do the cake? Don't you hate when you tell somebody something and they remind you of what you said and you be a woman of your word and you got to keep your word? So I was this little boy that used to go to school with my kids, little Romeo. And I just watched him. He was polite and nice, always just there, take out the trash, give me a little hug. I remember watching him at prom, and I said, you are so cute. You know what? When you get 25, if I'm still alive, <laughs> you come see me. Why did that boy knock on my door the other day? And he was like, Miss A. Marie, you remember me? I said, yeah. He said, I'll be 25 tomorrow, tomorrow my birthday. You remember what you said? I said, you remember that? He said, yes, I remember it. I thought about it every day. I said, is that right? I said, you know what? I am a woman of my word. I can't say something and not hold up to it. But uh, bring your birth certificate and stop by tomorrow on your birthday. And I got some birthday cake for you, okay? I'm a woman of my word. <laughs> so update on the birthday boy. Yes, he made it. I made him a birthday cake. So he came in and he was like, hi, how you doing? I said, I'm okay. He said, I wanted to come over. It's my birthday. And I also want to sit down and talk to you about a couple of things. I said, okay. He said, remember when I used to come to your house and spend a night with the boys and you and your husband would go get in the bed and y'all hear a lot of loud noise in the house. And I said, yeah, we get up with the guns. He said, yeah. He said, that was me. I said, why would you do that? He said, because I was jealous because you was in there in the bed with him. You told me in 10 years, but I don't understand is why you couldn't wait 10 years. I said, baby, 10 days, two months, maybe, but 10 years is a long time. And he said, I just want to come show you something. So he said, look at this. I said, who all that for me? He said, no, you're going to wait 10 years for it. I said, baby, in 10 years, I probably don't even remember you. If I'm still here, dementia and all that, you might as well give it to me. Now, he's a little honorary airy, so he didn't do shit. Fuck. She ain't say nothing about making no cake. She said she got some cake for him. And I know what that means. It ain't, that don't mean no strawberry chocolate cake. That means some booty. You know what I'm saying? That means some booty. And you talking about you made him a cake. You know what he wanted. And you know what you was offering. So let's not. Anyways, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. What would y'all do in the dude's situation? Would y'all be petty and make, make her wait that extra nine years? Or would you just be like, okay, finally. Get your cool 30 seconds of fame and get, get, skedaddle. Take a picture, send it to your friend. Like, look what your mama did to me. Look what your mama did to me. And I hope that they beefing because that would make it even worse. Because then he could be like, you mad at me, bada, 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 whatever the heck it is. Your mama liked me, though. But your mama liked me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it. Y'all let me know what y'all do in the comments down below. Because that... <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me what I would do because I'm a I'm a wholesome man. I would never do this foolishness. I would never even have this conversation. You know what I'm saying? Never even let it get that far because I'm a wholesome young man. At the end of the day, my wholesomeness takes over no matter what. It always wins. But that's the end of the video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. But I'm going to see 
Y'all out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.